Welcome to the Stuttering Mind program. I'm so pleased that you have joined me on this 100 day journey. This will be a very different program to you, what you have done before. This is the start of your personal, spiritual, mental, and most importantly, your stuttering journey. You will start to realize that, or if you haven't realized before, that you don't stutter when you're by yourself. So why is it that you stutter when you're in front of other people? That was the key insight I got at the age of 11. And I got that when I was talking to my cat and when there was some adult, my mom or dad, walking by, I would start to stutter. At around the same time, I remember when I was shouting at my friend, I could shout at him without stuttering. But when I wanted to speak in a normal voice, I would stutter. So on this program, what you will discover is that you are more than the stutter. And you can choose to let the stutter control you and have a life full of regrets or you can choose to learn some techniques that really actually work the techniques which i share known as the letting go of the block technique was first introduced in the u.s in the 1950s when it was known as a pullout so the main reason why speech therapy didn't work for me and I believe in your case, was that you were not comfortable using the techniques in the real world. At the age of 18, I learned a slow speech technique called the Zorg and the Gerbil are said to make very good pets. I was taught to speak like this and I was very comfortable speaking like this in the comfort of the speech therapy room. But when I was outside in the real world, I wouldn't even attempt it because it made me sound retarded, dumb, stupid, and all those things. But I would stutter. And when I would stutter, I would stutter just like you and I do. So why was it I couldn't use a technique which made me sound maybe stupid or dumb or retarded? That's a good question, because if I had, then I would have been freer much earlier. So... On this program, I share the concept of stuttering like a lion, stuttering with power and confidence. What that means is that you stutter on purpose. Yes, I know exactly what you're thinking. I know how to stutter, Rama. So why should I stutter on purpose? There is a difference. Stuttering with purpose with power and confidence, you're sounding la like this. You're looking directly at the person, smiling, and you're enjoying communicating. You're taking the power back from the stutter. Very different to how it was when you were an out of control stutterer, just stuttering, and the stuttering was ruling your life. So the key concept to learn is the b belly breathing. Just look at young children. If you have any children of your own or nieces or nephews, just look at them. You will see that their bellies go in and out, not their chests. They don't put their hands on the chest, on the ribs and try and breathe from the chest. They breathe into the belly. Just look at it. That's how nature has shown you how to breathe. 
and it does it automatically. You don't think about breathing, you just breathe in and out. Your heartbeat, the heartbeat beats automatically. Your blood pressure is all automatic. So if babies, and interestingly, pets, if you have any cats or dogs, look at their belly. You see that their belly going out and in, out and in, as it breathes in and out. So, if you haven't been convinced that breathing into the belly is the way forward, then I will share a link on to a podcast that I did with an occupational therapist, Jane Collier from London, where she tells about the pitfalls of breathing from the chest and why you must breathe from the belly.